we learned how to create uh, multi-layered eyes to accommodate different types of blinks and still have the ability to come and move certain pieces however I like to come and uh, help me create new uh, expressions for my character. Now for the next step what we will be doing is creating a multi-layered mouth. Now at the moment I've got my single layer with the mouth. Um, I've already created some drawings for you guys of how we would proceed to create one. So at the moment what I have is several different drawings that change the expression of my character and as you can see I've created the tongue to be a complete piece of my mouth and I have actually put it over on the color art layer. So every time that my tongue gets invert cut inside the mouth, I'm going to press the preview all layers just to see all of my different layers in there. Every time that the tongue gets uh, invert cut by the uh, interior of the mouth, I'm going to have it separate over on the color art layers. Now my character uh, doesn't exactly have teeth um, when speaking casually unless um, you get to see his, uh, his teeth when he does a B mouth for instance or when he uh, tries to make the V or the F sound. Uh, then we would see his teeth but otherwise we don't see them uh, in this case. If you had teeth and wanted to have them be able to move, what you could do is place them on another layer and have them also invert cut into the mouth just as we did with the eyes. Now another piece that we may want to add to our multi-layer mouth is the chin because the chin is going to go down a little bit every time my character talks. So what I could do is go into my chin layer right here which already exists and I would go inside the uh, the layer and I would copy the chin. I'm gonna go onto my mouth layer and I'm gonna pick a different one um, so say the underlay and I'm gonna come and paste it here. Now onto every layer I would want to have my chin position there maybe I would want to modify it a little bit to have it go down as the uh, shape of my mouth moves as well. And I could go and do this for every single uh, layer that I have. So I would just come and copy, paste, move it a little bit. Ideally you wanted to have uh, the, the same length as the uh, bottom lip that moves down. So once we have that, now I have this little movement right here. I've got all of my layers separated. I've got underlay for the chin, color for the tongue, line art for the mouth, and I don't want to have any duplicates so once I have my chin onto all of my drawings I would go and delete the chin. And now what I want to do is I want to clone this layer to be able to keep the link between the layers but still have the ability to move each one separately. So I'm going to do Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, and then I'm going to go and rename this tongue and I'm going to copy another one. This one will be named Chin. And I can come and position these. I'm going to create a composite so that I don't have too many connections coming down to my head comp. So I'm going to create the mouth comp, set it as pass through, and I'm just going to come and connect this here, connect all of my different layers. I'll create a peg for these, Control shift p or Command shift p for Mac. And what could be useful as this, at this point is having a peg that controls 
the entire mouth so I will create one to um, attach all of my different layers right here and I'm gonna rename this full mouth peg just like so and obviously uh, if I wanted to have a pivot point over on my mouth what I could do is uh, copy and paste the drawing layer of my mouth and just connect it under just like that so now I have all of my different layers but at the moment they're all uh, every single connection is reading all of my uh, layers including overlay line art color art and underlay so what I want to do is go into my node library I'm going to go into my favorites where I have all of my different layers that I've uh, my different nodes that I wanted to have access to. I'm going to bring in the line art and connect it under the mouth, which is where the uh, the interior of my mouth as well as the line is. I have the tongue on the color art, so I'm going to go and grab a color art node, bring it in and connect it under the tongue and I have my chin over on the underlay so I'm gonna bring an underlay node and connect it under this one now I have all of my layers that are separated if I go here and select the tongue you can see the rest isn't uh, selected and we will continue on the next step to create our multi-layered mouth